Hi, uh, Bruce Ross, uh, Director at uh, Federal Signal, here today to talk to you about a new product we have. It's called the IP100. It's a 100 watt uh, outdoor NEMA 4X uh, rated speaker. Uh, it's rated 120 dB uh, at 10 feet uh, for tone and voice uh, signals coming out of it for alerts. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the product. Uh, it uh, can come in two varieties. We either have a DC version or an AC version. The DC version operates on 24 volts DC. Uh, the AC version uh, is switch selectable between 120 and 240 uh, volt AC. What comes with the product uh, is a wall mount bracket, uh, stainless steel attached to the uh, rear enclosure. Uh, it's adjustable so that uh, you really have infinite uh, amount of adjustments. So if you want to wall mount it, uh, everything is equipped there for wall mounting it. You can also ceiling mount it by turning the bracket around. We have a couple of other options uh, for the product. Uh, number one, we have a large pole mount bracket. With this bracket, you can use it again with a uh, large wood pole or a large metal pole using either banding or you can leg bolt uh, the bracket uh, to the pole so that uh, this is secured. And then these hole patterns then match up with the bracket that's already included. So that's the large pole mount. We also have a small pole mount. This again comes with all the hardware uh, required. It comes with two different size U-bolts uh, and then also this stainless steel bracket. Uh, the U-bolts then feed through this bracket to then attach to uh, the rear mount. While we want to talk about the IP100 in a standalone application, we can also use this in a networked capability. We have the commander system that is being used uh, worldwide to control our outdoor alerting equipment. Uh, you can now use this IP100 and network it with the commander system. But today what we want to do is talk about this being used in a standalone application. This is a test of the Federal Signal IP100 speaker. What is a standalone application? This provides us with the ability to pre-configure, pre-install all of the messages on the device ahead of time uh, so that when you take it out of the box, you wire it up, uh, power it up, and you can then start using the device uh, because it's been pre-configured. Uh, what can I do in this standalone mode? Well, number one, it has uh, four independent inputs. Those inputs can be wired for either being normally open or normally closed uh, uh, contact closures. Uh, you can then have each of those be either momentary or continuous. Uh, you can have it so that the uh, relays are activated. Attention. Evacuate to a safe area. Attention. Evacuate to a safe area. So that you can turn on a strobe or a light automatically during the message. Um, and then also have the ability to use ambient noise monitoring where if the noise level in your facility drops, you have the ability to automatically lower the volume control of this device. So the next thing to show is uh, setting up of the device using either momentary or continuous inputs. The first input we have set up on this device is uh, set up for, con uh, for momentary. So what that means is that your sensor or device only gives you a momentary output. So when I hit this button, momentary, it's only going to play the message for the duration of time that's programmed in, uh, into the IP100. Warning. Low plant air pressure. And then it's finished. The next message uh, for two and three are going to be set up for continuous. So if I hit either one of these, as long as I hold the button down, it will actually play through the message when it gets done at the message. Uh, if the sensor or the button is still held down, then it will continue to play that message. Warning. Low plant air pressure. Warning. Low plant air pressure. And so then when I release the sensor, the, the message stops. So now we can ask, well, what happens if two sensors go off simultaneously? When um, they do go simultaneously, what happens is we'll play the first set of messages. We'll then go to the second message because that sensor is turned on. We'll then go back to the first 
sensor and we'll play that again. And then you have the ability to do that across all four of these inputs so that one speaker could interface up to four sensors and then as each of those sensors is activated or deactivated, the messages will continue to play on the device. So again, we have two different messages set up. You'll now hear the speaker as it cycles between the first message then to the second message. Warning. Low plant air pressure. Warning. Oil water separator overflowing. Warning. Low plant air pressure. So again, you saw the cycling between uh, the two different messages, and then we can also do that across all four. Some applications include uh, light industrial, oil and gas, public utilities for the IP100. Uh, for additional information on our IP100 speaker, our commander platform of products, including our uh, web-based control platform, uh, visit us at fedsig.com.